In this video, I want to show you how to program your Baofeng radio to use a repeater, either a ham repeater or a GMRS repeater. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos showing these steps, but they always seem to miss one or two steps or glance over something without explaining it. So my goal here with this video is to show step by step every button you need to push so that you can program the radio to use a repeater. These steps will work with pretty much any Baofeng radio that has this basic look. This is a UV5R. It will work on any of the UV models, most of the F8 HP models, pretty much any of the models that have this general look look and the have the menu system that looks the same that I'll show you in a minute should work. You will need a ham license or a GMRS license before you use any repeaters. Of course, you know that already. And I should also point out that programming these radios is much simpler if you just use the Chirp software that you can download from the internet for free. But that is a whole ordeal in itself. If you're not technically inclined, if you're not good on the computers, you may have trouble doing that. You need the right cable. Some cables aren't compatible with some computers or some versions versions of Windows or some versions of Mac. So using the software, although it's easier once you get it set up, is not always easy to get set up. So I've got all the steps written down here, just basically so I can remember to follow them as I go through them. I'm gonna put these steps in the information section below of the video so that you can follow along, but they may be big enough on the screen that you can just pause and follow along. Now to program a repeater, you're gonna need a few pieces of information from that repeater that you can get from the repeater owner. You're gonna need the main frequency of the repeater, uh, this is the transmit frequency that you listen on. That means the repeater is transmitting on this frequency. You are listening on that frequency. You're going to need the input frequency and or, depending on how they list it, the offset. Now, the offset is the difference between the transmit frequency and the receive frequency. So if you only get the transmit frequency, but you know the offset, in this case, it's plus 5 megahertz, then you know that the input frequency is going to be 460. 62575 plus 5 megahertz, 467575. 462 plus 5 equals 467. Sometimes they will list both of them and the offset. Sometimes they'll list one or the other. But the offset is the difference between the transmit or the input frequency and the output frequency. For GMRS repeaters, it's always plus 5 megahertz from the transmit frequency. So in our case, using this repeater, uh, we've got 462575 is the transmit, 467575 is the input or receive frequency, and that is an offset of five megahertz. So that you're gonna need to know that. And you will also need the tone. The tone, it will also be given to you by the repeater owner. And without that tone, your radio won't be able to connect to and use the repeater. That's also known as a squelch tone. There's a few different names for it. If they say it's a, a DP tone, or if the tone type starts with a D, that may mean that it's a digital repeater, and these Baofeng radios will not work on digital repeaters. These are analog, good old-fashioned repeaters only. You're going to need to have a channel that you can save it to on the radio itself. That's just the channel, the memory location that you're going to save it to. It doesn't matter what channel you use, you just have to remember it and know how to get to that channel. So for this demonstration, I've chosen 37 because why not? So to get started, first you want to make sure that the radio is turned on. You can tell that it's turned on because it's going to make a bunch of noise and it's going to light up. Uh, secondly, if the radio is locked, and you can tell that by the little lock indicator that's barely visible right up there, uh, you'll need to unlock it. If you're trying to press buttons and it's just beeping at you, that means it's locked. So you just press and hold the little lock key for a few seconds. Unlock. Second, we need to put it into frequency mode. There's two modes that this radio operates on, and that's uh, changeable by using the VFOMR uh, button. That means frequency or memory. So when you switch, frequency mode. or when you press the button, it switches between frequency channel mode. and channel mode. And we want to make sure that we are in frequency mode. Frequency mode. And the first thing we want to do is delete and make sure that the channel that we're going to use is clear. So we're going to be using channel 37. I want to clear out that channel. So I am going to follow these steps. I'm going to hit the menu button. Menu. I'm going to select menu item 28 which is the delete channel menu item. I'm gonna hit menu again. Delete channel. Which you see the little cursor comes down to the line to enter the information in. I'm gonna hit zero, three, seven, and confirm. menu again to confirm deleting that. And then I hit exit. So what I did there is I selected menu, 
selected menu item 28, which is to delete the channel. I hit menu again to come down to select what channel. I type the channel number in, number 37. I hit menu to confirm it, and I hit exit to get back to the screen. So now that I'm back, I'm gonna type in the main receiving frequency on the main screen here of the uh, repeater. And in this case, the main frequency is 462575. Four, six, two, five, seven, five, Step number five, I'm now gonna save that into my memory channel. So to do that, I'm gonna hit menu. Menu. I'm gonna select menu option number 27, which is selecting a menu channel. I'm gonna hit menu again to move down to the bottom line. Memory channel. To where I can enter that channel. And I'm gonna select the channel I wanna save it on, which in my case is 37. Okay, I'm gonna hit menu again to save it. Receiving memory. It confirms it, I'm gonna hit exit to go back. I'm back on my main menu. Now I'm gonna enter the input frequency or the offset frequency, and that is my main frequency plus or minus my offset, which in this case is plus five megahertz as given to me by the repeater owner. So that's gonna be 467575. So I've entered 467575. Now I need to enter the tone. The tone is also given to you by the repeater owner, and you can't communicate to the repeater without that tone. So to enter the tone for this particular repeater, which in this case is 67 hertz. So to enter that tone, I'm gonna hit menu. I'm gonna select menu item 13. I'm gonna hit menu to confirm that's what I wanna do. I'm gonna select the tone from the list. Now you can scroll up and down using the up and down arrow keys. And I wanna to get to 67 hertz, which was actually where it already was. All right, 67 hertz, I've selected it. I'm gonna hit menu one more time and then exit. So now I've got my transmitting frequency saved, I've got my receiving frequency saved, and I've got my tone saved. And then the last step is to save it all one more time. So I'm gonna hit menu, I'm gonna select menu item 27. I'm gonna hit menu again. I'm gonna hit the channel that I wanna save it all under that I decided I wanna use channel 37. Menu again and exit. So if I follow all those steps right and I had all the information correct for this particular repeater and if I am in range of the repeater, meaning I can hear it and it can hear me, then I can test it and see. So to test it, we need to switch back to memory mode because we're still in frequency mode. Because we're in frequency mode, we're not using all those settings that I just saved. So I go back to channel mode. Channel mode. I make sure that I'm on the channel number that I saved it on, which was 37. If you look real close, right up there you'll see I'm on channel 37, and you'll also see now this little plus and minus. That means that there's an offset saved or being used now on this channel. If we went back to frequency mode, frequency mode, there's no plus or minus up there. So channel mode. when I'm in channel mode, I know I'm in channel mode because it's telling me a channel there, and I know that I've got an offset saved because there's a little plus and minus right there. So now for the big test to see if it works, I'm just gonna transmit real quick and kerchunk that uh, repeater. Let's see what happens. There we go. So I transmitted and it came back. I saw the green light light up and I heard the little uh, static that the repeater answered. Great, so it worked. Now, if you do that step and you don't get that answer back, then either you missed a step or you didn't switch back to channel mode, you're not on the same channel, or it may be that you're not in range of the repeater. You know, this these little radios only have the little uh, antenna and the repeater has to be able to hear you. So you might wanna go outside and try it or hold it up over your head and uh, get a better signal. Those are all the steps, but if I missed a step or if a step isn't working for you, leave a comment below. I'm going to try to answer every comment and help everybody that I can. I hope this has been helpful. Please leave a thumbs up if it was and leave any comments or questions below. Thank you for watching.